Welcome to the Brotherhood of Nod. Our relationship with Tiberium has always been greatly misunderstood. Most people do not realize that the roots of our faith extend back several millennium, long before the emergence of the green crystal on Earth in 1995, an event foreseen by our great leader, Cain. The existence of Tiberium was covered up for years by GDI. They call themselves the Global Defense Initiative, but they are actually a fascist political consortium of wealthy nations hell-bent on controlling the sacred green crystal. While GDI suppressed the truth about Tiberium, the Brotherhood worked tirelessly to acquire samples of the precious crystal, to study it, to unlock its potential as a new energy source. The mainstream media branded us terrorists. But in 2019, we exposed GDI as the real terrorists and forced them to confess their heinous sins against humanity. Once the truth was made public, the Brotherhood grew exponentially. People from all walks of life flocked to our faith. We worked tirelessly spreading Tiberium around the globe so that those without would benefit from the vast powers of the green crystal. For our efforts, we were relentlessly attacked by GDI and their army of power mongers. The result was two pointless world wars that succeeded only in killing millions. When the Brotherhood could not be eliminated through war, GDI used a more subversive tactic. They unilaterally redrew all international border lines, relegating all Nod followers into inhospitable yellow zones while claiming the pristine and exclusive blue zones all for themselves. Now, despite rumors of Cain's death, the Brotherhood remains stronger than ever. Our commitment to Tiberium undying and with your help, we will continue to spread the gospel of the great green crystal. Bit of another like, I do love the full leather suit. She's like a gimp. You know, to call her the gimp the rest of this playthrough. And he cried in a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus did arise from the grave. I have always believed that faith was measured in deeds, not words. And while many of my children worshipped my name, their deeds betrayed them. In my absence, they strayed from the path. But you, you, my son, your faith never waned, not in Honduras or in Jericho. <clears throat> Not in the great Rio insurrection. You risked your life countless times to topple GDI, to perpetuate our cause, to honor my name. And now I call upon you again to bring glory to the Brotherhood. I have seen that GDI is vulnerable, bloated by arrogance and complacency. Now is the time to strike. While they congratulate themselves on Tiberium advancements, Nod made decades ago, we will expose their weaknesses for all the world to see. Nache will brief you on your mission. Like you, his faith is unquestioned. So everybody in Nod just wears a gimp suit? Is that the way it is? They're all gimps. <laughs> so you're the one everyone's been talking about. Legendary insurgent. I hope you're as good as they say you are, Commander. Because we're throwing you right in the frying pan. Check it out. This is Goddard Space Center, Greenbelt, Maryland. Ground control to GDI's ASAT system. All of their missile defenses. You're going to take a small squad over there and wipe out the whole installation. Take the system offline. Now make sure you knock out the communications first so they can't call for backup. Then go stealth and do that nasty thing you do. Wish I could tell you what Kane's got planned, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Just kidding. But <No>, seriously, <laughs> I envy you, brother. The world's about to change, and you're going to be right there in the thick of it. It's an exciting time to be Nod. If you need me, Commander, I got your back. 
All right, Goddard Space Center. You'll be taking an elite top of the. Let's try that again. You'll be taking an elite team of Nod's best soldiers into Goddard Space Center to stage a lightning strike on the ground control system for GDI's anti-missile defense systems. With the ASAT systems offline, GDI assets in Earth orbit will be vulnerable to a missile attack. Your ray will start with the base command post capture it to disable the communications. That will give you a 20 minute window to deploy the ASAT control systems or destroy, sorry. Let's jump in then guys, I am Durge and this is the Nog campaign, the Brotherhood of Gimps, everybody's Incoming wearing leather suits. Use the fanatics attack to destroy the wall and allow passage for the saboteur. Oh, I like his voice, right. Intelligence data no updated. Indeed. Fanatics, the suicide hey, bombers. Let's work together. So this is the Nod campaign guys, this is definitely going to be a lot harder because the Nod tanks aren't as strong as the GDI's. The GDI command post must be captured to prevent a GDI distress call. Capture with the saboteur. Alright mate, I fucking hear you. Oh yeah, yeah, let's go, let's fucking get in there you mag. I ain't fucking buying that, get in there. Goody gun drops. First part of the mission was pretty easy. Establishing video uplink. Okay, that knocked out the comm system, but you only got a little time before they reroute reinforcements. So get busy. He definitely isn't as pretty as the GDI commander that pops up on your screen. Structures provide power for the GDI watchtowers. Destroy them to power down the watchtowers. Right. Rockets ready. The oppressors must die. We got 20 minutes before GDI arrives. Let's go. Fight for none. No stopping. Reinforcements have arrived on the attack. Kill him! Kill him! Hold your weapons high! Let's just bring everything go nuts, guys. Kill that. Come on, like that. Ha <laughs> ha! Suicide bombers are nuts! Oh my god, kill them. Man, they're wrecking everything. So, like the last couple of first few missions, guys, we'll not be able to play it on hard difficulty until we get to select our mission. That's just the way it is. Let's get rid of that fucking barracks. What's that? A veteran say crate. I was getting that wrong in the GDI campaign. I was calling that a veterinary crate. As if, like, we were going to the vet. More reinforcements, the better. Reinforcements. Find a good spot. Let's just use the fanatics. We will be remembered. The oppressors must die. Ah, no, it's just so like terrorists, like aren't they? Reinforcements have arrived. Down with GDI. Kill them. The more the merrier. Wipe them out. Unit under attack. Rise up. Reinforcements have arrived. Unit lost. Move it. Get them. Right, get rid of that power plant there, son. I've moved my mic a bit further away so you can see my beautiful face. I don't know how it'll affect the sound. I got like a, an update for Audacity and everything's just fucked up at the minute, so we'll try this see how it goes. Destroy these power plants to take the second set of GDI watchtowers offline. Right, next next set of power plants, let's go. Looks like we're going in through this way. More reinforcements, man, they're just giving us a pile of units, like. I tell you what we're doing here, guys. We're starting a war. So as you'll see, as we play through this campaign, guys, you're sort of following up with GDI. This is whenever GDI lose their their missile capabilities. So you're just following along in the story, seems as GDI, but in the Nod side, Nod's point of view, the POV. We all know POV is. Don't we? We all love POV. Defenses are controlled by this building. It must be destroyed to begin the third Tiberium War. I'm using a lumbar back support here, guys. It's a bit new to me. Just keep my back up. I put in my notice for work. I'm going to build full time, build houses and shit. I'm sending you a squad of elite shadow units to help with your final objective. Good job, good job. Time left, so make them I can riddle it. Commander, no shadows are inbound. Arrived. Wipe them out! New bonus objective. Use the shadows to destroy the final power plant. Where are that? Where are they at? Where's my... There we go. 
close enough, we can plant explosives on the target. <laughs> can you, Shadow New Team? They all sound so nasty. New bonus Just need to be careful New because the, even though these guys are stealthed, Focus. This uh, is the way. they can see them. See? We move. That is the target. Is the way. Nice. Any more of these shadow teams? We got an engineer, no need for that though. What's this? Right, we we're supposed to have an R1 ace. Capture the reinforcement the bay. Bastards, I didn't know that. Rockets right here. Right, let's go. Keep um, number one. Who are we firing at next? Could have told me about that way. false objective. Stay clear. May I assist you? If it moves, come you with me, saboteur Rockets man. Right Saboteurs get you. booby traps. Place the explosive charge on a neutral structure or bridge. Explosives explodes when the enemy moves into the structure or over the bridge. Nice. Not right. are so sneaky. Fire. But one thing you'll notice, guys, is that. I so. Spot. Tanks take more damage from the side and from the back in this game, that's why you get reverse move. But you'll find when you're playing against the AI, say you're using a stealth tank and you sweep round to the back of the enemy, you flank them to do more damage. You just They end up just turning around right away unless they're focused on other tanks. Whereas if you were up against a player, you'll not be able to do that as quick. Right, let's, let's finish this mission. Shadows in waiting. Have our target. Oh. <laughs> Sneaky nod, man. You did it, Commander. Man, You're right, son. gonna brown their pants when they see what Kane's got planned. Nice. The Nog campaign will definitely be a lot more sneaky. Although, I would say it'd be a lot harder just due to the fact that there's no mammoth tanks in fact. Armor superiority! My instincts about you were correct. Your execution of that mission was exquisite. I have linked your battle interface with my command console. I want you to have the privilege of starting the Third Tiberium War. The war to end all wars. Go ahead, my son. Push the button. Inscribe your place in history with the blood of GDI. Not in their nukes, man. When will they learn? Push the button. I ain't taking nothing to do with that, son. You can push that button. I just be the commander and lead the forces, man. You can do all the mad shit. Just a big picture of the nod. Symbol on it. Like, if you really, if that, if you didn't want to know who did that, you know. Don't put your fucking symbol on it, like. destiny within grasp. The Philadelphia was only the beginning. Our forces will spread like a great plague across the earth. Every blue zone will feel our wrath. But for you, for you, my son, I have reserved the most important mission of all, taking the northeastern blue zone. We have a secret attack force awaiting your command. You must show no mercy, for GDI deserves none. Watch this a hundred times, probably will. But right now, time to take the war to GDI. 
take it right under their big fat overstuffed living rooms. You got two targets. Andrews Air Force Base or the White House. Man, I'll give my left nut to see some real action. I'll take one of these <laughs> targets out of myself. Anyway, Andrews is their air command in the region. You take it out first, you won't have to worry about death from above. The White House isn't really tactical. They don't run Central Command from there or anything. But it is an important monument, so if you sack it, you'll create a nice diversion for yourself. Your choice. You can't go wrong either way. Get something from me, Commander. Well, do my man. You just hold on that left nut. Leave it all to me. I wouldn't be giving away any nuts for an ink. Alright guys, this has been Dirge, this was Mission 1, Goddard Space Center, all the Nod Camp, not Nod, the Nod Camp, the Nod, the Nod, the Nod, the Nod, <laughs> this is, this. Mission 1, all of the Nod campaign. as you can see, we can't really select the difficulty until we actually start being able to pick maps, so we will see you in the next mission guys, and until then, take care.